Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be making coffee brownies since we all know how much I love coffee, so enjoy. I also kind of hated my other brownie recipe, so here's this. In the obviously large um, mixing bowl, add 3 fourths of a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil or coconut oil works well too. Guys, remember in the last video when I accidentally poured all of my vanilla extract into the um, bowl? Well, I got a new bottle too. I don't know what to call it, but I got a little new container of vanilla extract. Anyways, it was satisfying to peel off the thing um, and add uh, one teaspoon. Someone please tell me why this looks like balsamic vinegar. Add a half cup of granulated sugar and watch it dissolve because that's pretty cool. Let's switch things up and add 3 fourths of a cup of packed brown sugar. Ew, do you guys see that blob of vanilla extract just vibing in the corner? Like, that's so gross. <laughs> Mix it all up. And I'm pretty sure that's like the most iconic line of mine. <laughs> add 2 eggs and 1 yolk. And let me just tell you that separating the yolk and the white in the separate bowl was about the hardest thing that I've ever done. I got like yellow everywhere and... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Stabbing egg yolks with a whisk is so satisfying, you should try it sometime. See, this is what I meant when I said that separating the yolk and the white was hard for me. Um, I ended up having two halves of a yellow. <laughs> do not overmix. Like, I repeat, do not overmix. Otherwise, you're going to get dense brownies and that's bad. Set your liquid stuff to the side and grab another mixing bowl because we're going to be whipping up the dry things. Ingredients. Things. Ingredients. <laughs> Add two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder to your bowl. Add a half cup of all purpose flour, or in my case, just spill it everywhere. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that like, I can never pour all purpose flour in the cup without spilling any. Oh, see, see? there we go again. Add a half teaspoon of sea salt. And add a one fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. I was gonna say half, but um, caught myself. <laughs> I was feeling a little bit bold, and I decided to do four tablespoons of espresso powder, which is also just instant coffee. But I would recommend not doing that. But then again, I do love coffee, like I mentioned before. So I don't know. It's all per personal preference. If you don't know what I'm about to say, then you should probably leave because you're not loyal. Um, anyways, mix it all up. Ooh, look at that smooth slide between the two different- Oh, wait, never mind, the angle was wrong. Um, in this step, we're gonna be adding our flour, which is also our dry ingredients, to our wet ingredients. Anyways, just mix it all up. Okay, wait. I think that would be a really good channel name, now that I'm thinking about it. Should I like name my channel that? Please leave in the comments down below if you think that's a good idea. Oh my god, and then I could call you guys my little mixers. That would be so cute. Oh my god, wait, I think I should do that. That'd be so cool. Please leave it down in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. Ooh, nice and swirly. Add a half cup of um, chocolate chips, and I use milk chocolate, but honestly, semi-sweet or dark chocolate would go super well with this. Please, please, please do not overmix. Overmixing will cause the brownies to become dense, and we do not want that. So try not to mix, and it's okay if there are little specks of flour because it won't like really show up in the brownies. It's okay, but don't overmix, please. Grease or put parchment paper in a 9 by 9 inch pan. And this doesn't look 9 by 9 inch, but it's it's a little bit bigger, honestly, but I couldn't find my other 9 by 9. Okay, whatever. But just put it in a 9 by 9 inch pan. 
and yeah, to spread it out. Remember in my last video when I said that I do not like to preheat before I'm done making everything? Because, I don't know, just I just feel weird having the oven weight on me. Anyways, here's me preheating the oven right now to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Stick your brownies in for about 18 to 25 minutes. And I put mine in for 25 minutes, but it turns out that that was way too much, so I took it out like right at 18 minutes. Spoiler alert. In the last video, I also mentioned that I opened the oven like 30 billion times whenever I'm making something. So here's me opening the oven 30 billion times to check on my brownies. It's a good thing that I opened the oven 30 billion times because these ended up being done at 18 minutes instead of 25, which is what I put them at in the first place. Also, notice how clean that toothpick was. Like, there wasn't a single bit of raw batter, which is what we want, and these look good. And make sure that they cool for at least 30 minutes after they are done. I promise you that it's worth the wait because they turn all crinkly at the top. If you don't wait, then it's just gonna be like all mushy, and you don't want that, so please, 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 please wait so that they turn crinkly at the top. Cut them however you want after the 30 minutes are up and eat them. Literally, look how gorgeous these are. Like, they have the crinkly tops too, and I'm obsessed with the crinkly tops. Like, I've always wanted to make my own recipe that comes up, that makes the brownies come out with like a crinkly top because it's so like good and crunchy and good. Oh my god, I want more. Okay, yeah, here are your brownies, and thanks for watching. Please make sure to do all the usual stuff, like, subscribe, blah, blah. Please leave comments. I love reading comments and replying to them. Please, it would make my day. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video next Friday, which is going to be a vegan recipe. So, see you guys then. Bye. Also, I hope you guys are staying safe. Okay, now, bye.